Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna talk about how to withdraw medication from a vial. You wanna make sure you follow your protocol guidelines and you wanna make sure it all begins with the doctor's order of the medication you're gonna be administering. So here you have your alcohol prep, you have your medication that you will be administering and you also have your syringe. In this circumstance, it is a three mil syringe and it already has that needle attached to it. Now, let's get familiar with the actual syringe. So the whole thing is a syringe. Take off the cap, you have your needle. Then you have the bevel, which is the tip of the needle. You have your tip of the syringe. If you pull back, that's the plunger tip. Then you have your um, barrel. That's the barrel area. Then you have your phalanges, and then that is the plunger. Then you have your volume markings. You get comfortable with pulling that back and forth, back and forth, up and down, and don't touch that inner part because it can contaminate the medication. You always hold the tips or the plunger. All right, let's put that back in and let's make sure you have your hands washed and gloved and you are ready to administer this medication. So make sure the tip of the syringe is in and it's secured. So let's open your package. All right, so we got our syringe and we have, so right here we are going to pull back one mil of air because that's how much we are going to withdraw. So that's what we will inject into the vial. Now we have our medication and we're going to secure it with one hand and flip open the cap. There we go. And then with an alcohol prep, we're gonna open up an alcohol prep and we are going to clean the top of the vial for 30 seconds. And when we inject, it's gonna be in the bull's eye, right in the center. So you're gonna take off the cap. You're gonna hold the needle in a 45 degree angle with the bevel up. You're gonna inject and then into a 90 degree angle, you're gonna put the needle all the way in. You're gonna inject the air, you're gonna turn it upside down and you're gonna bring that bevel down of the needle and then you're gonna withdraw one mil of medication. You can flick it if there's any air bubbles to get that out and kind of go up and down. Flick it until you feel it's comfortable and it's a good spot and then you are going to remove the needle. Be very careful. You're gonna recap the needle and then you're going to dispose of that in the um, sharps container. Never reuse a needle and you always want to make sure that you have the right patient, right route, right drug, right dose, right time and you document and you chart it and you can attach this to the actual IV that you're gonna be administering it, or if you're gonna to have to administer it through an IM, you attach the appropriate needle as needed. And you are set to go. If you find value in this content, be sure to subscribe and smash that like button, and be sure to check out my other videos on how to start an IV. Click on the card and I'll see you, my friend, on the next one. Take care.